All right, now to a news alert in the race for the White House surrounding the first presidential debate. Craig Stevens is live in the Satellite Center. He has details on this. Craig? You'll remember right after the debate, uh, Belkis and Lynn, uh, Donald Trump made some references to uh, problems with uh, his microphone at, at the debate. In indicating it might have thrown him off a little bit. Hillary Clinton quipped that if you're complaining about the, the microphone, that means you didn't do well that night. Well, now there's this. The Commission on Presidential Debates, the host of the event, if you will, uh, put out a statement today saying that Donald Trump's audio was impacted in some way. They, the statement goes as this. Regarding the first debate, there were issues regarding Donald Trump's audio that affected the sound level in the debate hall. End of statement. Now, they don't provide any evidence that that audio issue affected the TV experience, the TV audience of some 80 million people. But Trump, as we've heard, has complained in recent days that his microphone wasn't functioning properly in the spin room immediately after the debate. He was asked some questions and he said, I think his words were along the lines of, uh, he was given a defective microphone and it was a problem within the room. And now the Commission on Presidential Debates is saying, yes, indeed, there was an audio problem within the room there at the debate hall. Not clear if that there was any effect on the 80 million people who were watching it on television at home. At the Satellite Center, I'm Craig Stevens, 7 News.